Daniel Bryan and Kofi. I just watched Brian Danielson and Zack Sabre Jr. Have you guys seen this match? Didn't we see that? No, the one that just aired this weekend. Oh, I didn't see it. No, No, not yet. This goddamn match is the best fucking match you've ever seen. It is unbelievable. And you watch that match, and then you watch Daniel Bryan versus Kofi Kingston. And, like, for what this was, at the time, it was awesome. But the Daniel Bryan, the WWE Daniel Bryan, compared to Bryan Danielson, is night and day. But it's amazing because he adapts to wherever he's at. Sure. When it's when it's AEW, he's going to be the best AEW worker in AEW. When it's New Japan, he's going to be the best New Japan worker, although Zack Sabre Jr. might have outdone him. But still, he's going to be the best at doing that style. And uh, and even though he wasn't anything near the Brian Danielson of the last couple of years in terms of the matches he's having, I mean, he had the best WWE-style match you're going to see. And it was a total WWE-style match. It was slow-paced. At one point, he puts on a rest hold, which I haven't seen him do one of those in AEW. I've never seen him do it in New Japan. But that's the way they work on a big show in WWE. And, you know, this match, for what it was, it was fucking awesome. It was much better on television because I got to see, like, New Day, Kofi's family... When Kofi hits that kick and gets the pin, and they do the close-ups, and Xavier Woods is fucking bawling his eyes out. He's crying his eyes out. And the kids are in the ring, and they're so happy. This was the best fucking thing. This was so great. This Kofi Kingston WWE title win over, over Daniel Bryan. It was the greatest. Bryan was the best heel Kofi was an awesome baby face. They fucking lost their minds when he won this title. The celebration, the genuine emotion. I mean, this was a this was a classic, classic WrestleMania moment, which had to be forced upon them because they weren't going to do it. The oldest boy, just a natural. He grabs the, oh, the shirt man. and he jumps up on the second rope and holds it up to the crowd and and throws it out into the crowd. This. Yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be a worker. You mentioned the uh, production in the very beginning, and this match had those like night and day differences between today and oh. and 2019. Like I think on Raw they had that shot from the corner, like on um, Raw on Monday they had a shot from the tag team in the corner it was on for like 30 seconds without like a camera change. And this one there was that moment where. Um, Daniel Bryan was stomping Kofi in the chest. Jesus. And the cut would go when the leg was up, and the cut would go when the leg was down, the cut would go when the leg was up, and he'd have 15 cuts and seven stomps. Yeah, it was nauseous. Every fucking time I have to hear people that don't watch this product tell me nothing has changed, I just, it boils my fucking blood. It's like, go back, like, actually watch it now, and then go back and watch a show. And this is, this was five years ago. I'm not talking 20 years ago, but it was glaring when we watched that Shield versus Wyatt family match. That was mm-hmm. way worse than this, mm-hmm. but it was just glaring watching this, how bad the verbiage was back then, how bad the production was back then, how boring the fucking matches were back then. Like, every aspect of it is better today. I know Vince is a fucking asshole. Like, I understand all that, but I'm talking about the product. If you watch the product... It is miles, miles better nowadays than it was even five years ago. I think the best thing I like about this match is the the whole process of making it as important as possible for Kofi. Because you have, not only you have like um, the New Day outside, they're not interfering in the match. No. There's no interference in the match. There's that one part where there's interference, but it's amongst themselves and not with the combatants. It's with the Vintner and the New Day outside. Yeah. And they're showing um, the good guys uh, watching the show in the back, cheering Kofi. <laughs> That's right. Um, Truth, still there. Big E is doing his, um, the, his doing his impression of Mickey from Rocky. Like, you can do it! You can do it! Kick out! It, it is... So important that no, there's no interference. There's so much drama behind how badly all the fans were behind him. They all had Kofi signs. Yeah. They're it, chanting Kofi mania. Yeah. They're it, not chanting for Kofi. They're chanting Kofi mania. 
And the other thing is, and I'm sure, pretty sure that um, you know Daniel Bryan probably came into the match with some of these, but his body was bruised up and down, mm-hmm. and it had looked like he had been through a war with Kofi and lost. Yeah, both of them. So I mean, yeah, Bryan needs something like, like I don't know what the fuck he did to his calf. Yeah. But his calf is like totally fucking bruised all over. His like his ribs right here. He's got his ribs are all fucked up. He he's he uh, he bruises easily, mm-hmm. and uh, and he certainly did here. He's got regal skin. Now, um, Dave mentioned this in the newsletter, and I didn't catch this when I was watching it. But... Actually, before you go to that, I got to say one other thing okay. about the actual match. So Brian, he's a heel at this point. He's the evil, angry vegan, and he's got the uh, the vegan belt. Mm-hmm. You know, the belt made of wood or whatever. And they've got a they've got a, a platform outside in the in the belt the vegan belt is on it, so Kofi wins, and you know Xavier's he's crying and everything like that, and then you know Kofi's in the ring and Big E and Xavier go out and they're gonna get the belt to present to Kofi, so they go out and Big E there's the plat there's a the thing and Big E grabs the belt, and and he lifts it up and you can see that underneath the belt there's another there's another belt. And so he takes the vegan belt and he throws it or whatever. And then he goes to take that thing off and he pulls it off. And you see underneath is the actual gold and leather WWE championship belt. And just watch Xavier. As soon as that thing comes off, he sees the belt and he just starts fucking Balling. He's just crying, and he grabs that belt, and they take it, and they give it to Kofi, and they're hugging him. It was so fucking awesome. This was so great. Uh, funny you should say that, because Dave said that before this match started, when B- e- Big E came to the ring, he was carrying that belt in the sack, and so it was like a championship belt-shaped sack that he carried mm-hmm. with him to the ring. So it kind of gave away the ending, is what uh, he said. Yeah, but you know what? I disagree with that, what because... If this were real, like that's what you would do, right? Let's say, okay, what was the Super Bowl? It was the uh, that one team versus the other team? The Forty Nineers okay. and the Chiefs. So I'm sure, I'm sure some fucker made up a whole bunch of shirts. They do, and they all go oh, to yeah. Africa when they lose. Exactly. So you make both sets of shirts. You don't fucking wait. So yeah, Biggie brought the belt out because goddamn, if he wins, we're not using that fucking vegan belt. And if he doesn't win, we'll just take it to the fucking back. Yeah, I don't think that was a spoiler. I had forgotten about the vegan belt or whatever they called it. It's uh, everything, the organic title or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was, but the thing's made of wood and it's got like topaz on it and all these uh, these natural rocks. It's a very cool looking belt. And if um, if if it actually was inlaid uh, wood, the guy that did it was uh, was a craftsman to be i'm sure they can find a craftsman to uh i'm just telling you do a belt like that it was uh it was very yeah cool, the hemp but, belt uh yeah, former was... president samuel bassett here says i was sitting next to a family that had traveled from ghana to watch wow. kofi they were absolutely elated yeah the uh the thing that surprised me and i hadn't seen this in well a long time four years uh was kofi's mat work it is so good he kept up with brian uh, at the very first part of this match, it was just tremendous. And at the end, I don't know why wrestling promoters and 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 owners of wrestling companies don't understand. This was a happy ending, and everybody. Well, actually, they do, Craig, except for one motherfucker who thankfully is now gone. It was called the Planet's Championship, by the way. The, okay. It was made of entirely sustainable materials. Such as hemp, good. side plates carved from wood of naturally fallen oak tree. The side plates mm-hmm. also had his name instead of the WWE logo. Wow. Excellent. But anyway, it was nice to have a happy ending. And this wasn't even the main event. It was in the middle of the show. It was great. And yeah, uh, this person brings up, wasn't the original plan for Ali to win the chamber, but he got hurt? That's absolutely what happened. Mm-hmm. Kofi Mania occurred because Ali got hurt. And he fucking brought it in that gauntlet match. If you recall correctly, which was awesome. So, good match. I was sitting next to a miserable bloke that had traveled from Bothell, Washington, to watch Brian Danielson. He kept <laughs> bitching about the rain. <laughs> yeah, you know what's funny is that guy was right. You have the Peacock app, Granny. It tells me that I'm not on it anymore. Well, you better start logging in because I've been paying for it every month. 
I don't care anyway. I don't like it. Use Peacock or I'm going to stop paying for it. You can if you want to. Start from 1929. Who was president? Okay. Who was I'll... president when I was alive? That was Donald late. Trump. Some Shut like up. Well, let me do it. Okay. <laughs> up till 1933, it was Herbert Hoover. Hmm. Herbert Hoover. Yeah, and he was uh, 50. Uh, he was our 31st president. <laughs> Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.